This your boy DJ Mixmaster, and welcome back to Soul Calibur 3. So, last video we ended up doing the Tale of Souls for Shang Hua and managed to find out that, uh, at least for me, that she's another character I can use to make it all the way to Night Terror, which was a surprise because I've only been able to do it with Siegfried. But, we went through that story. And for this video, we're going to go ahead and do a Tales of Souls with Maxi. So we're going to go ahead and get started. But before that, I would just like to say I'm sorry about... One, I'm sorry about the uh, uh, Need for Speed video. I can't believe I messed that up. Well, I don't, I didn't, I don't even realize what I did. I believe I fixed it, so hopefully everything will be all right. But two... I didn't upload yesterday because Wednesday I was going to preempt the video because I had something to do yesterday and I tried to do the recording in the middle of a thunderstorm that came came in ended up blo uh, blacking everything out for about a minute so of course I lost my recording and everything and I dared not to try try to sneak it in again with it still thunderstorming so this video will be coming out along with uh, today's video it'll come out later I don't know how much later but there's going to be two today so anywho with that explanation we're gonna go ahead and get started Seeking revenge for his comrades, Maxi pursued Astaroth and arrived at the ruined temple in the middle of the desert. It appeared that his target had already left this place. Instead, Maxi found Kapaku in a delirious state. He also learned that a fragment of Soul Edge was embedded in his own body. The dark hatred that Maxi felt towards Kapaku, the creator of Astaroth, welled up within him and evil threatened to overcome him. Barely holding onto his sanity, Maxi escaped the grasp of evil within him. At that moment, he reached an image of someone important to him which he had forgotten. He couldn't remember who it was, but for now, he resumed his search for the target of his revenge and put the ruin behind him. He cannot rest until the day he defeats Astaroth. Upon hearing that a city in the countryside had been destroyed, Maxi decided to head there at once. The monster was committing massacres throughout the land. The destroyed city may have been his work as well. Maxi eventually arrived at the ruins of the city. Was this really Astaroth's handiwork? As Maxi pondered, someone attacked him. The winds guide her with visions of the heavens. You really want to do this? Some things can only be conveyed through battle. Versus Talon, fight! <laughs> introduced herself as Talon and apologized for mistaking him for a bandit. According to her, this area had been destroyed by war. If that was true, then Astra had not been here. I feel an evil 
wind around you. It feels like soul damage. The girl's face appeared uneasy as she murmured these words. Did she say, Soul Edge? Talam suddenly bounded away as if she had remembered something. We're gonna go ahead and follow her. Talam must know something. Following his instincts, Maxi pursued her. Unfortunately, he was not familiar with this land and he soon lost sight of her. At this point, there was nothing more he could do. It was almost nightfall. He spent the night in the ruins and then set out further west. But before he had even made it out of the ruins, bandits blocked his path. A hero desires a sword, and a sword desires truth. You really think you can keep up with me? I have no interest in speaking with the dead. Versus Thief, fight! You win! Like that? That's called getting whooped. Please get out of my way! Versus Thief. Fight! Woo! You win! Like that? That's called getting whooped. After fighting off the bandits, Maxi grabbed one of them and asked him if he knew anything about Ashtaroth. But it seemed the man knew nothing. Nor did he know anything about Soul Edge. He knew he would find greater sources of information in a more densely populated region. Maxi traveled to Europe. In one city, he met a servant of a man claiming to know the Black Giant. And Maxi headed to the location the man specified. This is absurd. You are not worthy to find the sword. I shall kill you here and now. You're quicker than I thought. I was wrong about you. Pathetic. Versus Zasalamel. Fight! Die! 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 Bedbugs bite. That sword. Are you involved with Soul Edge too? I place my curse upon you, warrior from a distant sea. The man with the scythe melted away into the shadows. He was a mystery. Maxi couldn't even be sure if he knew anything about Astaroth. But then again, he may. We're not gonna worry about that man for now because we have a singular focus. So we're gonna search for Astaroth alone. The information, <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. The information the man had let slip was likely nothing more than bait. Maxi began searching for rumors of Astaroth on his own, but he found no useful information at time as time continued to pass. One day, in a certain city, a man approached him. The man explained that he was interested in the fragment of Soul Edge inside Max's body. He also stated that he knew of the Black Giant. 
<laughs> yeah, and we ended up listening to someone who said the exact same thing. We're going to... Let's see. We're going to question the man. The man said that he had his own reason for researching the Azure Night Nightmare, wielder of Soul Edge. Unfortunately, the only thing he knew about Astrop was that he had been hunting soul at the Azure Knight's bidding. While staying in the man's mansion, Max received plentiful opportunity to rest, as well as payment for the information he had given the man. The man promised to inform Maxi if he learned anything regarding Astaroth. Just as Maxi was preparing to resume his journey, the mansion was engulfed in flames. If love for her family is power, then no one is stronger. All right, let's have some fun. Hurry up, let's go! Versus Cassandra, fight! Out of my face! <laughs> It's over! Oh yeah! beat me! You win! Like that? That's called getting whooped. Let's go! Woo! Maxie felt like he was being watched. Hurry on ahead. It seemed the woman he had faced off against amongst the flames was not the one who had set the fire, but someone searching for information about the Azure Knight. She must have taken advantage of the fire to infiltrate the mansion. After waiting for the commotion to settle down, Maxie put that land behind him. Ashtaroth brought calamity with him wherever he went and he was always at the center of it. Upon hearing rumors that a war was brewing in Eastern Europe, Maxi wondered if perhaps he might find his foe there. <laughs> How foolish of you to anger me. <laughs> Welcome. Let us celebrate your demise. Take heed. Do not disappoint me. Versus Raphael, fight! there were no more uh, no more clues to be found in Europe, Maxi put this land behind him and returned to India, a melting pot for cultures both Eastern and Western. After visiting his men's grave and then resuming his quest for clues, Maxi encountered a pair of travelers. They claimed they have traveled together with Maxi in the past, but Maxi had no memory of them. He didn't have time to waste with these people. He needed them out of his way. Once again, he enters the vortex of evil. Want a piece? You got it. Listen, my soul rages with strength. Versus Kalik, fight. Take me! <laughs> 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 Let's go. You win. Like that? That's called getting whooped. All right, now for Shangwa. Are you ready for this? Ooh, Northern Star. You can break through my defenses and damage me. <laughs> <laughs> Like that? That's called. 
world getting whooped? The two of them introduced themselves as Keelik and Shang Hua and asked Maxi if he recently didn't remember if he uh, sorry, if he really didn't remember them. It seemed they wouldn't give up so easily. They were odd people. Maxi felt a strange sense of nostalgia and began to wonder if perhaps he really had lost his memory of them. According to Keelik and Shang Hua, when the three of them had, had traveled together previously in pursuit of the Cursed Sword, they had fought a fierce battle with Astaroth too. They said that they were journeying to put an end to Soul Edge once and for all. Regardless of the truth of Maxi's past, he felt no ill will from them. The three of them were soon getting along well and sharing the informa inform uh, information each had. I don't know why I'm speaking so fast. Alright, so either pursue Soul Edge or hope so. Anticipating Astaroth, or rather than get sidetracked, continue pursuing Astaroth directly. And pursue directly. Bidding farewell to the pair, Maxi continued pursuing information about Astaroth on his own. He eventually arrived at an underground ruin in, in which a giant that may have been Astaroth was said to have entered. According to the local people, this ruin was a com complex labyrinth. They said that the giant in question had disappeared underground several days prior. If it was Astaroth, this might be an opportunity to catch up to him. Maxi too stepped into the labyrinth. The Almighty Ones have granted you a sword. Just don't be Arthur, just don't be Arthur, just don't be Arthur, just don't be Arthur. Don't be Arthur. Let's finish this. Oh. Lee Long. Okay. Versus unknown soul. Fight! <laughs> Okay. You win. We're still good. We're still good. We're still good. The man had used a weapon similar to his own. He was clearly not a native of this foreign land, but Maxi didn't care about that right now. He proceeded further into the labyrinth. A gentle flowing breeze told him that an exit was nearby. He was almost out of food, and his strength was recovering poorly. What to do? We're going to proceed further in. As he proceeded further in, the air grew thicker. For a while now, Maxi had been feeling the presence of someone walking ahead of him. It was Astaroth. Forcing himself to stay calm, Maxi slowly closed the distance with his opponent. A few moments later, when his enemy came into sight, all of Maxi's rage exploded at once. The creation, freed from the bonds of his creator, seeks the ultimate soul. Okay. This should be worth my while. I'll strangle the life out of you! Versus Astaroth. Fight! Die! <laughs> I don't know why I ducked. You win. I've got to win until I defeat him. Seeing that the tide was turning against him, Astaroth knocked Maxi back with a heavy blow and then disappeared into the darkness. Maxi could not allow him to escape after coming this far. Maxi chased his enemy through the darkness. Just how deep did this did this labyrinth go? He was no longer even certain whether he was proceeding deeper inside. Still, there was nothing to do now but keep moving forward. Suddenly, Maxi sensed a fierce battle lust from deep within the darkness. Greasy sweat poured from all of his pores and a chill went down his spine. It had been some time since he felt a presence like this. It was as if 
the darkness was trying to swallow him whole. Approach the presence. Prepare to defend yourself. I don't know who you are, but I suggest you stay away for your own good. <laughs> what a lunatic. So, you're getting in my way? You'd better be prepared for the consequences. Versus Okadan. Fight. Cervantes, oh great. <laughs> So close! You lose. You're absolutely hopeless. Leave. <sighs> I was so close, man. Ah, damn. Oh well. Maxi put this land behind him and once again began to pursue his foe. He succeeded in picking up Asheroth's tail and arrived at a cathedral in a remote area only to be stunned, stunned at the sight before him. Astaroth's giant body hung from the front gate of the cathedral. Who could possibly? Maxi cautiously entered the cathedral. There was no question that someone else was there, someone not very friendly. I'm impressed that you made it this far. Not bad at all. My dream is about to be realized. You, however, are not worthy of witnessing this glorious moment. Leave this place at once. Versus Zasalamel. Fight! <laughs> Dang it. You lose. Finally. Everything will come to an end. Nine. You sure you want to do this? Your legs are shaking. Very well. This should be interesting. Versus Zasalamel. Fight. Die! <laughs> Impressive. I did not expect such power. But I did not come all this way just to die here. This abyss. Fight! Die! Oh. What the hell? Never seen that grab before. No! Yeah! <laughs> 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 
Like that? That's called getting whooped. What is this? What? Maxi, who? Ah, under my head. Key lick. Key lick. Is that really you? Maxi, let it go. I'll take care of it with one strike. Huh? Keelik! Take us both out! But... I can't... Just do it! So, that was Maxi Tell a Soul. And with that, I believe this is a good place to take a break. Next video, we'll move on to the next soul. So, like and comment on the video. Subscribe for more gameplay. And with that, see ya. Peace.